Hanbon wa yo what is up guys dar here had to eat you guys with that japanese intro i just got done uh doing some japanese homework so i was like you know what i'll hit you guys with the opening in japanese so i have a how to halo again for you guys i think this is like the first time uh me doing back-to-back -back how to halos but i have a hts gameplay it's a really competitive gameplay and these are really the videos i want to how to halo on all the more competitive games and serious games and the games where i just play smart against good players so as you can see, I got Rockets immediately. I went ring two with Rockets. Instead of just pushing their side away from my teammates. And pushing their side with Rockets is not, not really necessarily a good thing. You really don't want to do that. Because there's really not many areas you can shoot the Rockets off of. And they have a lot of cover back there. So I'm going to wait for my teammates to make a push through the hut. Because in the hut, there's the most cover for me. And the most you know splash damage area for me to shoot my Rockets off of. So I put some shots on that guy at Rocks to make him back down. I clean up that guy that's sitting on top of that rock for no reason that was kind of a questionable play questionable play by him i cleaned up this guy on his wall she because my teammates were calling him out saying he's just sitting there and i'm the only one who could really take him out um I'm just kind of putting pressure on these guys and rocks i noticed that he has a sniper so i immediately backed down because uh sniping in h2a is pretty easy for most people so i don't even want to challenge that i get a nice out br i noticed that his teammates unaware i tried shooting the rocket at the uh flat piece of rock hopefully i'll get some splash damage on him and maybe kill him but i was just a stupid <laughs> really dumb rocket by me i don't think i should have wasted that. i think i should have cut back and flanked him from hut by doing the jump the trick jump at the back but um my teammates reforming in ring we have ring control which is really essential on this map yeah uh, you really can't win shrine without ring control you need to be pushing up with with your teammates not by yourself you don't just sit there and be like oh man i'm just gonna push up by myself because you're not gonna win games i've had so many frustrating games where you just push up by yourself and you're not making coordinated pushes with your team and all you're doing is gonna like all you're gonna do is just get frustrated doing that so i really recommend you push with your team you guys push like two push their hut you know two push through their bond maybe something like that but i really recommend pushing as a team on this map it's really team oriented as you can see i see my teammates pushing up in their objective in their bond area and i see my teammates under turret so i try helping him out here i'm getting a call out there's a guy on their street we, uh, my friend heffy and i we dropped down clean him up uh that was a huge kill right there because he kind of getting that kill allowed us to you know move up the bomb more into their hut area kind of irritating them i get a nice little nade there uh on a guy who was weak i got a call out so i'm moving their bomb up and also be aware every time you drop the bomb in or flag in like an objective game type um, they can see where you're going like every time you drop it they see the bomb bomb dropped you hear the guy too um, but they also get a visual indicator letting them know where you are so be careful and kind of think about when you really want to drop the bomb if you want to be sneaky you can kind of hold it and get a sneaky plant on them so that's also a really good strategy right here I'm just kind of patrolling rocks trying to clean up guys and since I just killed them with rocks I know that they're probably gonna spawn HUD so I kind of take the sniper take a little bit of cover kind of watch the hut and I kind of feel some pressure coming from their objective. I saw a guy who was kind of on their top turret. And I was like, uh, is he chasing me? Because I know he saw me. So I kind of felt that pressure. That's why I was taking cover there. And uh, he ended up killing me and cleaning me up. But um, I was a pretty good distraction for my team right there. And I kind of kept the sniper out of their hands for a bit. And I think I blew off like a shot or two. So I'm just kind of nading the bomb. Because I know there's going to be a guy trying to pick it up. Trying to put it over to our side or trying to play it. And if you guys don't know what play, playing the ball or playing the bomb or whatever is, it's when you throw it off the map and it resets in the middle. So instead of you carrying it to the middle of the map and kind of wasting time and uh, slowing down your character or your Spartan, um, you just throw it off the map. It makes everything a lot faster. And a lot of high uh, caliber teams do that. Um, right here, I'm just putting pressure on the rocks. We clean him up. And I noticed that there's a guy at our hut. I'm getting a call out. I saw him kind of going down here. So I pick up the shotgun and kind of watch down there to see if he pushed. Um, I didn't see him. Um, I'm assuming he went back to his uh, objective, so that's why I'm nading it again. And I have shotgun, so I'm gonna kind of be. My goal right now is just to be an irritant for the other team. They don't know I'm here. I'm sneaking around, trying to see how many people I could get, kind of how many people I could uh, take out and flank and open up my teammates to push rocks. I really don't recommend pushing rocks through like for a flag cap or anything. I mean, you can, but uh, I prefer to run things uh, hut side because I feel like hut, you have a lot more cover um, when you run it that way. So um, that's just my personal preference. Um, many teams do different things in different situations. You're not always going to be able to go hut, but I prefer it. So um, you guys may prefer something else like going through rocks. Um, my dad just got cleaned up. I can't really do much. My friend gets a huge kill right there. Uh, my friend gets another huge kill. 
and we have basically we have a sniper we have rockets and everything so my friend inspecting and die heffy they're basically pushing i mean not pushing they're staying in the ring kind of like pushing up on their car to help uh paradise and i to get in a position to arm right now i'm trying to be like a supporting type of player this game not like this game but in this situation kind of supporting the two people with the power weapons because i think the people with the power weapons should be basically the main slayers and right there, I threw a sticky nade. I didn't go for the melee because it's a, basically a one-hit kill. So what's the point of going for it when I'm? It takes me three or two to three melees to kill someone, uh, and it takes him one. That doesn't make any sense. So as you can see, um, Paradise is pushing up for another arm right here, kind of distracting them. That was kind of a good play on his part. A lot of people think that may be stupid. Why'd you push up, man? You weren't going to get anyway. They're all spawning rocks. But it created a distraction. It made their whole team look at the bomb and look at him while we could just pick him off. And Heffy could clean it up and get the easy uh, bomb detonation. And I get a call out. Or not get a call out, but I just assume they spawn in their courtyard. And they did, so. Um, right here, kind of flanked that guy. He was kind of unaware where I was. Kind of juked him out a little bit. Pushing their hub and getting call outs. There's a guy there. I'm putting shots on him. I should have stayed up where I was instead of chasing that kill so hard. Uh, I'm surprised all my shots didn't kill him, but you know it happens. You can't really get mad over stuff like that. So right now I have sniper and I'm immediately kind of pushing back. I was I was pushing back the ring and I'm coming back. I'm just kind of staying in their corner. I don't know why I'm, what I'm doing. I should get up on their street. There we go, Dar. <laughs> uh, get up on their street and watch their hut. And I just saw two die down there. And I'm assuming they're gonna spawn, you know, courtyard, and because you know we just cleaned them up from uh, their rocks, so you know they may spawn somewhere else. Um, kind of anticipated that, and I sniped the guy. And they're spawning rocks again. And I kind of, I'm just kind of too focused on this area right now. I get a lucky snipe, uh, not a lucky snipe. I mean, skillful snipe, whatever. Um, normally when they spawn rocks, they're gonna be going your jump up or their jump up. So if you have a sniper, I think that's a really good area to watch. See, this guy is doing what I said earlier. He's playing it. He's just throwing it off the map. And that's a really smart play by him. I see two going in the street. I blame one right there. And I notice that there's another guy there. And he's kind of looking up and challenging me. I don't know why. I'm bring three. He's not going to force shot me. Um, but um, I'm kind of, I got a, not blood on him. I shot him in the body once. And I notice he's back here. So I get the shotgun now. And I do the YY in between each shotgun shot. Because you can shoot slightly faster and help so much. And by the way, you cannot do that in the original Halo 2, so don't try that. I remember I tried it a long time ago, so. Um, we cleaned this guy up. I uh, get a good call out. That was a good team shot. I got a good nade on the guy spawning down there in rocks. And that's always a good place to nade. I really recommend you always bank nades off that back wall. Um, do you really catch people by surprise who are hiding in the, on their rock ramp, uh, which is the area, like the ramp leading down to rocks or leading up to their objective? And that's a really good place to hide sometimes but um if you're a really smart player you'll nade there a lot and you'll find you'll get a lot more kills uh from people just uh sitting there Jeez, um heffy right now he's that was a good play throwing a nade there because you know when people sit on pillars like that they're assuming you have no nades and they're really hoping you don't have nades because if you have a nade i don't really throw nades like that in that situation to kill them i throw a nade to get them out from hiding uh behind those pillars because they have nowhere else to go they're one shot um, I noticed there was a guy on HUD. I kind of decided to flank him from a different way. Then I cut back. That was kind of an awkward angle for me at first because there were so many nades coming in. I was like, oh man, I don't want to deal with this. So I'll fake him out like I'm going the other way. I kind of scared him off here. I'm still looking for him. I don't know where he's where he's at. I'm just He's probably uh, bottom terror right now, but I just decided to go back to my side. Go with my teammates, kind of stop this push because my teammates really need me. And one thing in Halo I really want to stress to you guys, uh, every time you play, play with your team. If you're playing solo, play with your team. If you're playing, um, you know, with a party, play with your team. Don't be like that one guy. Oh man, I'm gonna be like snipe down guys and just blame people. Even snipe down, even the best players in the world. I've seen so many gameplays. They play with their teammates in team situations. They do not just sit there and go Rambo by themselves. And I really want to stress that because I've played Halo 3 Team Slayer by myself and got a 50 um, two times now. And when you when I did that by myself, I wasn't getting that angry I wasn't like blaming my teammates for everything your teammates may be kind of lacking in some areas but I think there's always a way you can work around it for the most part sometimes your teammates are, aren't just skilled enough they're not you know they're not gonna win so uh, you're not gonna win with, like unskilled teammates but if they're decent I really believe you can win if you just play with them so I hope you guys enjoyed that video um, that was a pretty entertaining gameplay in my opinion I think I did everything 
I did. I played pretty smart that game in my opinion, but hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really do love doing these how to Halo videos. That's really why I made this channel, dude. Halo tips and tricks. People have been asking me for tips and tricks for years and stuff. I really want to give that back to you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'm out. Sayonara.